Hi students, our next point is calibration. Calibration means what? It is a checking of correctness or it is an activity of checking or the result is compared with a, with a standard substance and also it is called as the checking of the accuracy of a measuring instrument of any type. For instrumental methods, to carry out the calibration procedure by using a series of standard samples, each having a known concentration of the analyte to be determined. That means you people performed various experiments on the colorimeter, on the conductometer, on the potentiometer of the standard solutions. Initially, you will prepare a series of standard substances like 0.1 molar, 0.2 molar, 0.3 molar and so on means suppose 0.1 molar, 0.2 molar, 0.3 molar, 0.4 molar and 0.5 molar solutions prepared by you and you have to measure the absorbance of this solution on the colorimeter. Absorbance of the solutions on colorimeter. As you people know that the absorbance is directly proportional to concentration. Therefore, when the concentration will increase, the absorbance obviously increases. That means these are the standard substances and we know that the amount of analyte present initially in these solutions of the standard substances. And you can measure the instrumental signal. The instrumental signal is the absorbance which is measured on the instrument. And you people prepared such a type of plots absorbance versus concentration when concentration increases obviously absorbance also increases either this type of plot you people observed or this type absorbance versus concentration Such type of plots were observed by you people. Instead of concentration, here we can put the lambda max. In first graph, you can change the wavelength values and only one solution is used which is of higher concentration for the measurement of the lambda max. You people keep this value fixed on the machine and put each and every solution at that lambda max and you have measured the absorbance value and plotted a graph as like absorbance versus concentration and suppose there is unknown concentration which is given by your teacher and unknown gives the absorbance here. You have to interpolate this line as this way. And you can find out the concentration of a unknown. Same experiment you have performed on the flame emission spectrophotometer in the last semester. That means this is a calibration method to find out concentration of the unknown substance by comparing this result with the known uh, series or the standard solutions signal simply. Calibration curve is constructed by measuring the instrumental signal for each standard and plotting this response against concentration. For example, if you have to find out amount of sodium and amount of potassium present in given sample by using the flame emission spectrophotometer, at that time initially you can prepare stock solutions of sodium and potassium which is of 1000 ppm. From this you have to prepare a series of solutions like 10 ppm, 20 ppm, 30 ppm, 40 ppm, 50 ppm and you can measure the signal on the instrument. This is the signal for each standard substance and plot this response on the graph as a absorbance versus concentration or flame emission intensity versus concentration. The line 
is a straight line which is obtained that means y is directly proportional to x and you can put one unknown solution to the instrument and you can also measure the signal on instrument now the absorbance or the percent emission intensity which is observed on flame photometer on y axis here the interpolation of line can be done and you can identify the concentration of the unknown substance which is given now the again same experimental conditions are used for standards and for unknown obviously same environmental conditions same instrument is there same solution is there that's why each and every parameter is equal for standard substance and for the unknown substance here the concentration of the unknown substance unknown substance or the unknown solution is also called as a take sample this concentration can be determined from the calibration curve by graphical interpolation suppose this one is a graph on y axis flame emission intensity on x axis there is a concentration this is a percent emission intensity and this line is observed for the standard substance and here is the signal which is observed for the unknown you can interpolate this line in this way and we will get the concentration of the unknown substance means simply the test sample concentration can be determined by interpolation of the line next point is here two types of statistical procedures should be applied to a calibration curve by graphical interpolation first one is a you have to check whether the graph is linear or in the form of curve two types of graphs will be observed one is a linear that means y is directly proportional to x and the line is of this type this is a linear and this one is a curve shape or the hyperbola and the next point is we have to check the best straight line or the curve through the data points if all points does not uh, on the line that means there is a scattering of points means uh, each and every po every point is in the form of scattered then there is a difficulty to draw a straight line at this time we can try the straight line as this for example i have drawn here two graphs first one is a linear and second one is a curve but here all points are scattered that's why line does not pass through all the points some points are remain here therefore i have balanced the line same number of data points are on the up side of the line and same number of data points on the lower side of the line and the line passes in between these scattered points next one is a curve shape graph here again there is a scattering of points in lesser amount as compared to this but again if we draw a line through all the points then this plot is not a curve shape its shape will be changed that's why we will try to get a best curve shape graph therefore we have to find out a best straight line and a best curve instead of this type of graph this is all about the calibration